The fight to reverse the Ford government's cuts to legal aid took to the streets across the province today. 40 communities in Ontario protesting, including right here at home in Toronto. I'm sick of how they treat us, the people united. A big sign with bold letters reading, guilty of gutting legal aid. Posters with the message, stop the attack on injured workers. Buttons pleading to save our legal clinics. Bloor Street United Church packed with legal aid advocates on this day of action. With him taking all of these funds away from everybody, it's not only hurting us, but it's hurting everybody else around us. The PC government reducing funding by 30% to Legal Aid Ontario, which means it will receive 133 million less in this fiscal year than the 456 million it anticipated. A big hit at a time when the number of refugee claims in Ontario has soared by nearly 160% since 2013, according to Ontario Attorney General Doug Downey. What's the impact been so far? Um, well, we're, we're definitely seeing a, a larger number of uh, newcomers, refugees and immigrants that are unable to get services through the certificate programs. So they're coming to the clinics uh, looking for support um, and uh, yeah, just a larger caseload um, and just uh, having to deal with the, the lack of funding. Workers and supporters of the Parkdale Legal Clinic marched along King Street today. The clinic and many others like it represent low-income people in legal hearings regarding evictions and job and benefit losses. Supporters say legal aid money is vital to the community. People in the Parkdale community are grouping together to protest the cuts to legal aid and to tell the government that it's time to reverse the course that they are taking money away from the most vulnerable and to put that money back into legal aid so that Parkdale and the other legal clinics continue, continue to do the work that they've done for so many years to support low-income people. The Parkdale Legal Clinic says the government's cuts will force it to lay off nearly half of its frontline workers. Legal aid, under attack, what do we do? Stand Stand up. Up. Yeah. Supporters at the Scarborough rally say they requested a meeting with Raymond Cho. We're here today to let Minister Cho, who is the Minister for Seniors and Accessibility, know that his constituents and the people of Scarborough are not going to stand for the cuts to legal aid that this government has made. Protesters were told he was too busy to meet. The organizers then decided to hold the rally in front of the MPP's Shepherd Avenue office. We reached out to MPP Raymond Cho's office and received a statement which says in part, a recent Auditor General's report shows that over the last five years, more and more money has been spent without achieving the results legal aid clients or taxpayers should expect. It also says the government is working with Legal Aid Ontario to ensure legal aid services are sustainable and meet the needs of low-income Ontarians.